In this playlist, we're going to rebuild a time-only kitchen clock. Now, this is the buffet. It's called the buffet. Uh, very common, mass-produced, a lot of them sold. Uh, this one's called the Garçon. Um, thing to know about these two clocks is that mechanically they are identical inside. So um, there's actually a whole slew of uh, GE Telecron kitchen clocks. Also, uh, there's a couple of models that weren't made for the kitchen. They were made for the den, uh, like the Shield, um, the special version of the Stewardess. But uh, we'll just call them kitchen clocks. Um, but uh, it, including the, uh, the domestic, the Stewardess, um, all types of the Stewardess, uh, the Epicure, um, they are all the same inside mechanically. The only difference is the, the face, the case, and the style of hands. So we're going to work on a buffet, but if you're working on a garçon, it's the, the same exact thing. Okay. Uh, now one thing to know about the buffet and, and the garçon is there are going to, because they were produced for so long, there are going to be some sort of slight variations over the years. So what, what we're looking at there is a late model buffet. This is the first model buffet. Little differences, you notice there are no red hash marks here on the face. It has a feather sweep hand. And the back, they have a, a plastic back as opposed to that cardboard wafer board situation that they're going to use later on. This is sort of a second generation buffet. One of the earlier ones as well. But in this one, no red hash marks. Instead of the feather sweep hand, though, they're going to just have a brass one instead of a red one. And they're not going to have a plastic back. They're going to have gone to that wafer board stuff that they're going to use from then on. So um, little differences like that. The biggest difference, the most important difference, is this. When you're talking about the uh, Garcon and Buffet, they made them up to so late in time that they had stopped using screws to hold the front plate and the base plate together. So some really late model buffets and garçons um, will be staked together instead of screwed together. And um, I'm going to cover that in a different video, how to uh, remove that and, and um, take apart one of those. So hopefully the, the whatever one you're working on is screwed together and not staked together. If it's staked together, it's not that big of a deal. I'll put together that video soon and uh, you can take a look at it if you need uh, some tips there. Now, another thing about these kitchen clocks is there are some early ones, came out in the early 30s, which are not like the rest of them. So this is an early domestic. There's a later domestic, um, w which is different internally. The early domestics, the insides are a little bit different. We're going to do uh, a playlist on how to work on uh, one of these. But the way you can tell the difference is the set knob here. Okay, If you have a G Telecron kitchen clock um, and the set knob is offset over here, uh, it's different from the other ones that I was talking about. Uh, what I mean by offset is the set knob is usually right below the 6. But if you notice, this one's not right below the six. It's off to the side here. So there's a little bit different mechanics for these, and I'll do a playlist about these um, later. Also, uh, another type of G Telecron wall clock is the industrial uh, kind of wall clock, which mechanically isn't, you know, the, the difference isn't very big, but I'll still uh, go through and tear down one of these and uh, build it up again. Um, if you want to wait for that, if you're working on a clock like this. Okay.